Hello guys and welcome back. So let's go ahead and start doing our uh, eyebrows. Okay, it's gonna be on the same model, so we can uh, grab our. Uh, I think it's in here, right? The hair base, and then go to description and create description. This time it's gonna be Ellen underscore eyebrow underscore description, and we use placing and sh shaping guides and create. Right, so we need a few guys, of course, and we don't have anything yet, so we need to start creating a bunch of different uh, guidelines. Uh, we can start with something uh, uniform here. We can grab all the model, uh, this model here, and make it live, right? And we can use the EP curve to to start draw out some of the guidelines for the eyebrow. Oops, yeah, something like this. That's one, and keep on going. Next one. Okay, and G button, and keep on doing. So this time it's it's when you're doing this kind of like things. If if this is the first time you do this, make sure that you gather uh, references on how the eyebrow looks like, right? F uh, help you to find some, uh, really find some uh, references on how those things should look like. Right. Uh, okay. I'm going to copy on going. You can see how those top part are getting done. Right. Okay. You can see the the trend of the hair hair strengths uh, or eyebrow strengths. Right. Whatever you want to call it. All right. Go. Um, seems like I need to go further. So I guess I can uh, go delete these guys. Hopefully I'm not deleting anything else. <laughs> okay. All right. Let's keep on going. So it was like a little short. Yeah, so when you're drawing this out and you want to like redo it, uh, you can hit the uh, backspace button and that's gonna go back. Okay, and then I'll see, I also think that I can make it shorter here. Oh, yeah, if you delete the curve with too much lines deleted, that's gonna be invalid. So you want to control the amount of like points you delete. I want them to be shorter, right? So I'm trying to 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 take them. Uh, maybe this one can be a bit longer. I can disable that now. It doesn't really needs to be snapped like completely right I'm just trying to tweak it so that its shape makes more sense I like the how the the back is rising up a bit more so I'm trying to do that Okay, so let's say this is the eyebrows guidelines. With those selected, I'm gonna do also a rebuild real quick. The uh, curve, a rebuild, and this time I think we can go for. We don't need all that much. I guess we can go for like four or five, five spans. Okay, and delete the old ones. Okay, we have five spans now on this guy, and we can also. Uh, Grab these guys and then the base, right? Deselect the base and drag these guys forward. So I'm gonna go for select, send, uh, modify, center, pivot, and drag them forward. About the thickness, I think the eyebrow should have something like this. And then we can root it to the surface. So grab that and these guys. 
we can do the using the two to root it. I think I can just root it with uh, the first two points, right? To make them nicely uh, attached to the surface. Okay, and just to make it a little bit more smoother, I can grab all these guys. I think I can do like a smooth command. Better. All right. Cool. And then of course, I need the other side also. So we can grab all these guys. Control D to have a copy. Control G to group them. And then we can go to the channel box and type in negative one on the X to mirror them. And just don't forget to also get them out afterwards. Oh, uh, yeah. We grab all the curves. We do modify freeze transformation. All right. That should be the setup of the curves. I can group them together and then we can call this guy eyebrow. And we can pull that into the higher guide curve, right? All right, and with those curves selected, we can then go to action editor, and those can be added as our eyebrow description. So we go to utilities, curve to guides, run add guides, and now we're having all those as guides. Now we can go ahead and add our higher curves. Okay. And we can go ahead and refresh. Okay, and then we can go primitives. Uh, CV count, I think five is fine for something that's short, so probably don't need to change that. Uh, density, of course, has to be higher. I <laughs> have a lot, a lot of eyebrows. <laughs> right. And also, of course, the, uh, let's see, the, uh, the thickness, right? So that's going to be here in, uh, Uh, with yeah, 0 0.03, and then we taper it down. Okay. All right. So yeah, that's a that's a lot of hair, <laughs> and they're in all of the place. So I'm gonna go here and then start painting their density. So I'm gonna go to the density here. I go to the mask, create map. I'm gonna call this guy eyebrow. No, oh, Alan. Eyebrow density mask and then hit I'm gonna make it black and hit create and then save it of course and then we open the paint and this time I guess we can try to go to the stroke and turn on the reflection that way we have the symmetry on All right we can make the brush smaller we can pick a white color and we can start painting where do we want to see the eyebrow All right, and then I'm gonna get, I'm gonna go uh, uh, save it. All right now you can see we have the eyebrow in the a more conservative place. I guess uh, I should have some more on the top. So let me go ahead and fix that. So it's gonna be more over here instead, and go for black and pants over here okay just go back and forth and get it get it right and you have half density and we can erase some of the density here in the front because it's not as dense as the middle part okay save that okay and of course, I think we need some more tweaking to the to the shapes. I think those guys can go forward more. I wouldn't mind doing symmetry also. I think there is a way you can mirror them over actually. But I think also making them different would be on um, your favor because they should they they are supposed to be different, right? Yeah, and uh, we can also disable the visibility of that so we can see the result of the eyebrow. Okay, 
Uh, I guess we can crack up the display a little bit more. Okay. And then I think we can also go to the modifier here. We can add also clumping. Okay, okay, set up the map, guide, and save. Hmm. I'm not sure what's going on. <laughs> Hopefully it's not crashing, otherwise I have to redo this piece. Uh, I think it's calculating something, I don't know what that is. So, guide, right. And save. Interesting. So I guess we uh, we don't we don't necessarily to to do that on the guide level for sure. Like we can say, uh, we're able to do that on the. Uh, I just use a, a, a random set of guides in this case. Yeah, but I think it's it's doing something under the hood, but I think it's having trouble because the the map the model is not having. A, yeah, that's one of the things. Like the model has to be somehow denser to be able to do something like this, right? So this is one of the things that's worth mentioning. Uh, so I guess, yeah, we, we set up map, we can go for the density of um, one and just generate, or two, three, x three, I guess, four. Yeah, and save. Yeah. Yeah, you can see it's having trouble doing that. Uh, so it's not able to do that in this case. Uh, two maybe. Generate and save. Yeah, it's just not able to do that in this case. Uh, or oh, we can make it better. We can, we we should. Uh, the only thing we can do is smooth the model, uh, but that's require going to require us to redo everything. So, yeah, let, let's just not worry about that thing then. Uh, the clumping thing then. I mean, we don't really need clumping over there anyways. I think so. We're gonna delete that necessarily. So. Yeah, it would be nice if we can. Let's try that again. Maybe we can set up like a then uh, set of one. Yeah, it's doing that. Yeah, at least we have some clumping. We can make it not go all the way. Right, but a little bit of the clumping to break it up. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'm being too strict on the requirement here. I don't think that's really that necessary. Uh, you know what? I think it's worse. <laughs> so I'm gonna delete the clumping. I think it's. Oh, yeah. I think this is better. I like this result actually. We can just maybe add some noise. I think that would be already enough. You don't. You don't need to use all the technique you know just to somehow. I will guarantee that you can get good result. That's not the point. All right. Point two maybe. Uh, point one. And we have like a smaller, just have some noise in there and break it up. Yeah, and I think I don't like this long line here, so I think I need to paint the density in this case. You can see it, there's nothing in there, but you can, you're still seeing it, right? That's why I always started with black first. Because sometimes even you make it black and you're trying to paint. Mm. It's not really eliminating that area for some reason. It's not very good in in my opinion. Like the the, the definition you did here may not be respected, like one hundred percent, for some reason. I'm not sure why that's happening, but I think that's also gonna trace back maybe to you can see it's in there, right? And no matter how I paint and make it black, it's gonna be in there. The only thing I know to make it better is you flat it it's black so that way when you refresh it oh even that is I guess we save it yeah okay maybe I forget to save it <laughs> anyway we can repaint this part right so uh, go here yeah 
I guess that's that's what I want. Over this there, but not that. Okay, a little bit darker here in the front. Alright, and let's save it. Okay. Alright, uh, in case you don't like something, you can always uh, delete it. Like if you feel like, I don't like this little thing there, you can go select it like that, right? And then uh, I think you can, uh, I forget where it is, uh, maybe in here, generate, and there is some. Um, Uh, not here. It's gonna be somewhere. Hmm. Forget where it is. There's a place you can turn it off. I don't think that's it. Mm. Yeah, that <laughs> okay. There's a button there. curse curling it. Okay, so you can you can curl out some of the hairs. Like for example, here you can see those things are on the air, right? And you know, you can either just scalp them off by changing the guides, or you can go to the hair description and you can grab all those things you don't like to have and you curl them out. Of course, you want to deselect these guys. Right, anyway, you can then click on this to, you know, make them just disappear when they're rendering. Kind of a neat little trick here. Yeah. Um, I think I'm fine with that. I can maybe go back and tweak the guide to make it better in this case. Otherwise, I have to hide a whole lot of things. <laughs> okay, but you see that like that, that little trick in there, right? Okay, so that's that's basically the eyebrow. I think I'm making it a, a little bit too noisy already. I think it will be, it's, it's going to look better if it's more flat so I'm trying to maybe lower down that to this smaller okay yeah that's abra and you can have a more fun with it adding some more guidelines if you wanted to tweak it or whatever but that's basically the thing you need to do to, for the abra if you can do the hair you can do the abra right so don't overthink it and the next class we're going to do uh, the, uh, the, the eyelashes. Okay, see you next time.